Uh, don't mind me, dear. I am merely curious what you plan to do with that hair. Ah, uh, you didn't expect to see me back at the round table hold. Well, circumstances compelled me to return. That is all I shall say. Yes, it is a pleasure to meet with you again, great champion. Although, I must say, you are looking rather battle-worn. Even more so than when we spoke at the Prince of Death's throne. What hardships you must have endured since that time. What foes you must have faced. Ah, I see. So you have defeated a great many adversaries. And now you plan to travel to the capital and finally take your throne as Elden Lord. Well, you must be presentable for the day you are crowned. If you'd like, I can help. First, let's have a look at your hair. What have you been doing? You have all sorts of twigs and leaves, and clumps of dirt. We'll have to scrub your scalp clean. I have some soap, crafted from the finest melted mushrooms. I will just wet your hair.
It looks much better already, but perhaps you'd like to try something different with it? I could give you a bit of a trim and perhaps change the color with some herbal dye. What do you say? Hmm? Ah, very good. Well then, I won't take off too much hair. It's already quite a nice style for you, I think. You must leave the round table hall, but before you do, can I ask a favour? You see, before you arrived, I was trying to do something different with my hair, but after I took out my braid and washed my hair, I changed my mind. I wonder if you might braid it for me again. Perhaps we could sit by the fire for a little while. Ah, my thanks, great champion. Nice. 
I think 